A pleasant greetings to all. In this video, I am going to explain some of the problem in electric circuit analysis. The first problem, the voltage source is represented as shown in figure. The equivalent current sources. So how to convert the voltage source in the equivalent current source? Use the formula I is equal to V divided by R. So what is the value given here? This is the AC circuit. So we have to use V divided by AZ. So what is your new circuit diagram? The new circuit diagram is the voltage source is converted into equivalent current source. And the impedance that is in parallel with the new current source. So this is the new circuit diagram. You have to put E and B. First, we are going to find out I. There is no change in impedance. That is 1 plus 0, 3. But we are going to find out the current I. So to find out current I, what we have to do? We have to substitute the voltage value. So what is voltage? 50 angle 30. And divided by, what is this? 1 plus J square root of 3. Now, the numerator is in polar form. Denominator is in the rectangular form. So what we have to do? I am going to convert the rectangular denominator into polar form. So what is 1 plus J3? So first we have to take the R. R that is the mod value square root of 1 square plus square root of 3 square. So what is the value? Square root of 1 plus 3 square root of 4 that is 2. How to find out theta? Theta equal to tan inverse B by A. So what is B? B is equal to root 3. So tan inverse root 3 by what is A? 1. So when we get tan inverse root 3 for which angle? The angle is equal to 60 degree. So 60 degree only we will get a value tan root 3. Now I is equal to 50 angle 30 degree divided by I have to put the value 1 plus J root 3 that should be similar to 2 angle 60 degree. So what is the next step? Now I am going to divide 50 by 2 that is 25. Angle what I am going to do? I am going to subtract, subtract the angle 30 minus 60 degree. So the angle is 25 angle minus 30 degree. So this is the new current value. Now I am going to draw the equivalent circuit. So equivalent circuit that consists of what the current source. The current source is 25 angle 30 degree that is in parallel with the impedance. The impedance that is given 1 plus j root 3 the whole divided that is a b. This is the equivalent circuit obtained for the problem number 1. Next I am going to explain what is the unit of reactive power. So there are three different powers are there. One is real power, real power. Second one is reactive power and third one is apparent power. Third is apparent power. So real power is measured by watt or kilowatt. Reactive power that is volt ampere or kVA. And apparent KV reactive AR. Apparent power is volt ampere or KV. Next problem number 3. The voltage mark Vx is given by. Here I am going to find out the voltage. So the resistance given 1 ohm and 3 ohm. Okay, so how to find out the voltage? Before finding the voltage, first we should know the voltage, find out the voltage across 3 ohm. So what is 3 V3 ohm? 
the same voltage is appeared across V3 ohm because both are parallel combination 3 volt. And next, using the 3 volt value, I am going to find out Vx. So, what is the voltage here? Vx. What is the voltage here? 3 volt. So, how to write this? Vx minus 0 by 1 plus Vx minus 3 divided by 2 equal to here the current is incoming current so I put negative value or write in the other side 6 so how to write this I am going to separate Vx and constant 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 that is equal to 6 plus 3 by 2. Okay, next. Vx. Take the LCM. So, 2 into 1, 2. 2 plus 1, 3 by 2. Here, 12 plus 3, 15 by 2. 2 to get cancelled. So, Vs equal to 15 by 3 or 5 volt. So, answer for Vx is 5 volt. Thank you. Have a nice day.